I'm from Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and it's uh, only an hour and a half away from Paducah. So I've been coming to the Paducah Quilt Show to view the show for, oh, at least 10 years or more. For my master's degree at SEMO, I did um, a project instead of a boring paper. And so it was quilting because I've always, I'm an artist also, and I enjoy, but I've always sewn. And so I combined the two for that project and it was just so much fun. And so since then I've learned a lot about quilting and you know, just keep practicing and perfecting your techniques and everything. And so it's a wonderful art form, you know, it's just fun to do and everyone loves quilts, you know. Everybody has fond memories of quilts in their family and stuff. So it's just a great thing. How do I plan on celebrating? Well, I love ice cream. I might get an ice cream. I'm not a big celebratory person. I'll probably celebrate by starting another quilt. <laughs> I won't get to hang it on the wall. That's the only sad part. It's going to be in the museum, but I'm very excited about being part of that great group of quilts. You know, I've been to the museum and of course since I make miniature quilts I do like to look at those, you know, scrutinize them pretty closely and so I'm always, ooh, ooh, look at that one, look at that one. And so to think that mine will be part of that group is like really exciting, you know, instead of just stuck under my bed somewhere. <laughs> It'll be, you know, for everyone to enjoy. So I love AQS. I have been a member of AQS since about probably 1986 when I started doing those quilts for my master's degree. And I've never not been a member of AQS. I love the magazine, you know. I love the art aspect of it. Uh, I love, you know, being inspired by it. And it's just great to know that you have an organization behind quilting like that to promote the art of quilting. 